detect subclinical left ventricular dysfunction. A patient who had chemotherapy, who had normal ejection fraction, but where we actually saw that strain was already reduced. To look at regional wall motion abnormalities, a patient with an anterior infarct. Look how nicely you see the defect here in the apex in the bullseye display. For the timing of valvular surgery, a patient with aortic regurgitation, hyperdynamic left ventricle function if we look at the ejection fraction, but where strain was already reduced. Myocarditis, a patient who came in with fever and elevated troponin and CK, but with normal ejection fraction. Here we did find a reduction in strain that was also present when we looked at MR images where late enhancement areas were present. And finally, we can use it for the follow-up of patients. Here's a patient who had cardiomyopathy, where we see deterioration of left ventricle function over time. So this is a very nice way of following up patients and possibly also guiding therapy.